to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. What's going on? What? What'd you do? What'd you do? Make her laugh again. <laughs> Say again. Hey, <laughs> Billy! <laughs> 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 yeah, we haven't even done it. Let me do it first. <laughs> 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 teaching cycle class at the gym. I've been picking up um, Saturday classes every now and then. <clears throat> they rotate through instructors. And today's my Saturday. We've got a really busy weekend, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So after my cycle class today, uh, we're heading up to a water park in Round Rock called Typhoon, Texas. We're gonna go there, meet some family, have a good time. You might remember we went here last year. I think it was right around this time and Eva had a blast. So I'm looking forward to seeing how she enjoys it now that she is much older and yeah, it's gonna be fun. Then tomorrow we've actually got a three-year-old's birthday party to go to. So busy, busy. Um, lots of fun stuff. I probably won't get a ton of footage from the water park or the birthday party just because there's gonna be a lot of kids obviously um they're not my kids so just know it's a busy fun weekend but i'll show y'all as much as i can Monday. Hope you're having a wonderful start to your week. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. I was just going to sit and chat about our weekend. We had such a wonderful time at, we went to Typhoon, Texas, and then we went to a birthday party yesterday. And it was Eva's first non-family birthday party. And it was at a splash pad. We just had a blast. Eva had a blast. And it's just, it's just crazy to me to think about, 
you know, she's two, she'll be having her third birthday in um, May 2022. And it's just crazy to me to think about like her growing up. I know it sounds crazy, but as a parent, I'm sure any parents out there understand like she's developing a personality and likes and dislikes and it's just crazy to think that she is a real human you know um and just reflecting back on the weekend it's getting so much easier and so much more fun to go places with her and i, I don't mean like it wasn't fun before but it's it's so neat to watch her experience things like a real person because when she was a little baby we take her places she doesn't know what's going on we carried her the whole time you know it, as she got a little bigger she toddled around and would you know kind of play with things but now we put her down and she goes <laughs> like at typhoon texas on saturday i mean she was all over the place and wanted to go to certain areas. She really, really liked the wave pool. She liked getting in and letting the waves splash. Um, and it's just so neat to watch her experience things. And this is why I'm so excited about the holidays because you know that I love Christmas. As soon as Halloween's over, Christmas starts. And I'm so excited to share all of my favorite parts of of Christmas and the holiday season with her and see how she experiences everything like going to see lights and obviously opening presents all of the movies all of our favorite Christmas movies all of the decorations um just like I'm so excited I'm so excited but we had such a good time and I've noticed as she has gotten older, my anxiety about going places has become less. I know that has a lot to do with um, my anxiety overall and, you know, depression kind of lessening. I don't know. It's just, it's so fun to take her places. Like even the grocery store, just taking her to the grocery store and watching her interact with people and just be her happy, wonderful self. Like she's so much fun. When we go to our local grocery store, um, it's a Texas chain, it's called H-E-B. It's the best grocery store ever, changed my mind. They have at the cashier, you can get what they call Buddy Bucks. They have a mascot, his name is H-E Buddy and it's just a giant grocery bag. <laughs> and you know, sometimes they'll have him like make appearances at the stores, but they have like a little, it's like a slot machine. You get a buddy buck and it's just a little coupon and you put it in the slot machine and then it spins a wheel and you push a button and then it lands on a prize or points. And then you collect the points to get prizes. And every time we go, she gets her buddy bucks and she runs up to the machine and tries to put it in. And then whenever the wheel spins, she like dances. It's just so stinking cute. It's so cool to watch her. I don't, I don't want to get emotional. I probably will because I'm a mom but it's so cool to watch her experience life. And it's like, it's like being a kid again. And I know that, you know, parents told us this when we first had her, but whenever they're so little and fragile and I was just worried and anxious about everything, it was hard to see that. But now that she's getting older, we're watching her experience things that we loved growing up, like going to a water park. We grew up, I, I grew up going to Schlitterbahn. I think Matt did too, because they were in this area. And going to somewhere like Typhoon, Texas, watching her experience the water park and, and things that I loved as a kid, it's just so cool. And I know this is just the beginning because she's not even three yet. And I don't, it's just so cool. So, so much fun. And all of you parents out there, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments and, and what your favorite part of being a parent has been, you know, experiencing what have been your favorite experiences as as a kid yourself, but then watching your child experience those same things. What has been your favorite part? Um, I'm just <clears throat> so excited about Christmas. I think it's gonna be so much fun and Eva's gonna love it because she already loves Halloween and Christmas, you know, whenever we get excited about things, it excites her. And so I think our excitement for Christmas is going to make her love it just as much and it's just gonna be so cool. 
So I just wanted to share this little tidbit with you because I mean, it's, it's a lot of the reason why we haven't been, um, you know, my, my videos haven't been that structured because I've been, I've been enjoying life and, and watching her experience things like this weekend. I didn't take, I just had my phone stuck it in a waterproof bag, grabbed a little bit of video, um, quickly, but for, you know, for me to keep, because I want these memories to last because they fade with time and it makes me sad, but, um, yeah, we've just been, just been experiencing everything and, and showing her the world. And it's just so cool. And she's just so sweet and so perfect and so wonderful. <laughs> and I'm going to cry, but, um, it's just exciting. And, and I'm really excited to share the holidays with her. I'm planning on doing Vlogmas. I know it's kind of early to talk about, but it's something that we've done for, I, I can't, I don't know how many years we've done it. Um, probably since like 2015, I've done Vlogmas and it's a video a day as much as possible, a video a day in December leading up to Christmas. And I just love to share the holiday season. We do like fun little crafts, we play fun games. So um, I'm planning on doing it this year. Uh, if, if I am going to do it, I need to start kind of preparing ideas now because planning ahead will be key. We might even have to start filming some in like early November. So if that's something that you would be interested in, um, make sure and thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below. Just say Vlogmas if that's something that you do want to see. Again, remember Christmas for us starts November 1st. That's why I'm thinking about it now because October's almost here, so Halloween's almost over already. <laughs> That's how my brain works though. But hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Like I said, parents, let me know in the comments below your favorite parts of, of being a parent, uh, favorite memories with your kids if they're grown. I'd love to read your memories in the comments below. It's always fun to read those. You know, you, I just, you don't understand until it happens. Like. Now I get emotional over other people's memories because I put myself in their shoes. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, we will see you in Wednesday's video. Um, probably gonna do kind of a vlog style video. Matt will be in Wednesday's video. We've just been just busy, busy, busy. If you'll have any questions for us, let us know in the comments below. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next one. Have fun out there. Bye.